We wish to acknowledge the traditional custodians of the land we are producing on, the Wujak people. We wish to acknowledge and respect their continuing culture and the contribution they make to the life of this city and this region. Hi guys, welcome to Project Sweet Loud Untamed Tarts, or as we know it, Project Slut. 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 I'm a slut. Project Slut, the show that educates and entertains all things sex in an inclusive and positive way. Let's put power back into being a slut and fight back slut shaming with your host, Lavi. Hello everyone and welcome back. It's been a little break of holidays, but we are stoked to be bringing you this very special episode of Project Slot with our Bali Babes, Beaches, Bad Boys and Bintang episode, which funnily enough, we didn't actually have any Bintang, did we? Everyone, so we are back from holiday, which is super exciting. Yeah, and on today's episode, we'll be telling you all about our holiday tea, who got flagged by the police, who passed out on Valium, who had a threesome and who smuggled in illegal contraband. (laughs) So much juicy stuff. Yes. But before we begin, we'll be going live and doing Montana's munchies. And today, not only did I give everyone an option of being nice, but before the voting, Montana voted herself to suffer. So we're going to make you suffer. Yeah, why not? Feeling spontaneous. Feeling spontaneous? Okay, Mm. so we're going to go live right now. So... We're doing Montana's Munchies for episode eight of season two. Um, do you want to tell us who this is? All right. So this is ours, everyone. So he's our special guest for today and he's going to be doing the munchies with me. So how do you feel, Alz, about um, your first munchies? They are comfortable now. I don't know what I'm about to eat. <laughs> <laughs> something shit. All right. Yeah. So everyone voted today that we would give them something shit, which you know what? food is like not shit like some people like things some people don't like things so uh, today we've got this i'm not going to say it out loud i don't know if people are going to be able to recognize what that is um so i'm going to put this in down in front of you guys okay I'll move the stuff okay where is it um okay so i'm going to put your hand on the spoon yeah see this is a bowl there's a spoon Fuck. right yeah, i got a bowl feel. and a spoon i got a feel yeah okay yeah, there we go yep all right what's this this is a spoon. Get a spoon each, guys. Oh, this is not a spoon. That's a fine. Okay. Yeah, guys, there's a spoon each. There okay. you go. Fuck sake. What is this, man? Okay. Uh, you go, Mons. <laughs> oh, it smells like feta. Yeah, I want to smell it. Can we pick it up? Yeah, you can pick like it up. Feta. It's, it smells like something pickled. Mm. Am I right? Pesto? Oh, are you eating it? Yeah, Mons is eating is it. That, I'm just going to swallow know? it before you tell me what it is so I don't vomit. Why? Do you not like it? No, just in case if it's something like an animal or some shit. Oh, it's not an animal. It's definitely vegetarian. Is it? it tastes like olive, like olive oil. Is it? Oh, shit, i got to have a bigger chunk. Is that enough? No, you didn't put any on the spoon. It could be a snail. Yeah, that's a good chunk. That's a good chunk. It's vegetarian, I said. Yeah, snails are vegetarian. Snails are not vegetarian. <laughs> this is what I mean. This is <laughs> this something... What kind of says? Is this... <laughs> Is this peach uh, pickle? Cut it. No. Uh, you can take your butt masks off if you like. Um, it's it's eggplant. It's like oh, pickled shit, eggplant. Yeah. Yeah. So I was close. <laughs> Cause like that's like anti pesto. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be nice with some brie. We'll be right back. I can eat. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we're having a great time in Bali, and the whole purpose of it was that. We were there for Montana's birthday and we'll start with the night when we were out and we were tired and we all got back to the villa, but uh, Al's and I wanted to stay up till midnight to annoy Montana on, like because it was her birthday and leading up to this day, every morning she'd been like, rise and shine, like in my bedroom window. So like <laughs> it was time for payback. So Al's and I just having a, having a smoke, sitting outside, waiting till midnight comes Midnight comes and I turn on the song Celebrations, get it loud and pumping up on Spotify. Alex grabs the lighter. We have like a little weird kind of like a croissant kind of pastry. We go up, we're waiting outside the the glass doors at midnight and I'm trying not not to give it away that we're outside. And we get the flash record on and we burst in and I'm like, happy birthday, like jumping up and down. Like you have the, you know, flash record on. I'm literally jumping over Montana 
physically jumping over Montana. I will post the video for everyone to watch um, on Sunday. But it was insane and you didn't make a move at all. Like you didn't even open your eyes to someone jumping over your body. Like, I'm not going to lie. I think like normally I've always been like a super like light sleeper, but I don't know if it was because I was in Bali and I was like on holiday and I was relaxed and stuff. But like, I don't remember you coming in. I don't remember you jumping on my bed. Like That's like concerning Like I me. briefly remember a bit scary right there. blowing out. Like I thought it was a fucking candle. Then looked at the video and I was like, that's a light. Up. Yeah. So I like, we, oh. I ended up going down near your face and being like, it's your birthday. Wake up, blow the candle. And then ours holds the lighter so close to your face like it could have melted your lashes off I mean I would have noticed anyway like, um, just, and you, yeah. you blew out the lighter and then we left and I was like that was so anticlimactic like I really <laughs> wanted like a big moment for that and that did not happen like some old dude yeah. like I'm 30 yeah. like girl needs to sleep <laughs> <laughs> okay so that was the way you officially started your birthday tell us how the rest of the morning went when you actually woke up yeah, it was super good. Um, woke up and then you came in and were like, so you need to stay upstairs. Like you can't come down until like I come and get you. And normally I hate surprises, but like this time round being in Bali, I was like, oh, I love surprises. Like, let's do it. And then came downstairs and like, obviously like all you guys were like downstairs and saying happy birthday and everything. It was super cute. And then I saw like our breakfast, like in the pool in like this little like floating kind of table and like the food was so good yeah the food was really good we had like kind of like a vegetarian mm. warm breakfast with like eggs and vegetables and mushrooms and then we had pancakes and then we had a really good juice there was no bacon though when i wanted bacon yeah we're in a muslim country that your chances of bacon were very slim i know but i just want a bacon <laughs> <laughs> but hey it was super nice uh yeah so then what did we do after this because this is a bit of a this is a bit of a s twisted story why don't you tell the story? You have no idea what you did? No. When, well, okay, so we'll go with like, what was the original plan that, you, that all you wanted to do for your birthday day? Like, what was the plan to originally do for your birthday? Oh, yes. We <laughs> wanted to go to Finns. Because everyone raves about Finns, yeah, right? because it's like the place to be in Perth and it's like super Instagram-y and all the things. And we get there, and I was so fucking disappointed. Like, it literally wrecked my day. Like, hashtag fucking Finns, Fuck Finns. That was a shithole. Every time I see a story from Finns, I literally, like, throw my middle finger up. I'm just like, <laughs> fuck you. Like, you ruined my birthday. <laughs> you Not know what's really. so funny is that, like, I've been seeing people who are in Bali now, and I, like, immediately, re like, reply to their story. Like, if you're in Bali, go to which place we'll tell in a second. But, like, fuck Finns. Like... Yeah, it my was friend so was shit. there at the moment and I was like, don't go to Finns, leave. Yeah, go so somewhere else. So describe what happened when we got to Finns and why we ended up going and all that. So we like got there and it was like a really cool vibe and like I was excited when I saw like, you know, the Finns sign. So I was like, I'm finally here after looking on Instagram. But like the prices there were like Australian prices when you clearly come to Bali, like on a budget. And yeah, we don't come to Bali like a queen. to spend money. No. And, like, the amount of money that they were charging just for, like, a regular day bed, like, just a really small day bed compared to, like, one of the bigger round ones, like, the money just didn't, like, it wasn't worth it for me, even though it was, like, my birthday, like, whatever. But I was, like, no, I'm not wasting, like, how much, like, was it, like, 40 or $60 each? It was 90 Yeah. Minimum for the little chair, one each. It's a fucking chair. Yeah. Like, I'm sure we could all have just fit fitted on there, but that would have been a bit snug. I think the worst part for me was like the water was brown. Like when you looked out onto the beach, it just looked dirty. Mm. Nah, that was dirty water. That was sewage water. That wasn't an ocean. Oh, that was crazy. I mean, the cocktail wasn't too bad. And I mean, your yeah. tacos looked pretty nice. The tacos were nice. <laughs> the tacos were really nice, but Still. same, same prices. Like it ain't anything special, really. It's just overrated, I reckon, in my opinion. Yeah. So we ended up just kind of leaving and you actually recommended a place that we didn't even think we were going to have time to to go to so we all we all went back to the we all went back to the villa but before you left the villa i filled up a little bottle full of vodka because like i said we're we're here to party but like we're not we're not the queen here we're not, we don't want to no. spend that much money so we filled up this little bottle of vodka which i thought was not that much vodka in it 
We filled that up and we put it in Montana's crotch and we hopped in an Uber and we drove an hour, an hour and a bit. An hour and 15 minutes. 15 minutes. Exact, <laughs> I remember. Towards the coast of Bali, towards Iluwatu. Yeah, like, I mean, when we got to, like, Savaya, am I saying it right? Yes. Savaya? Or was it some people, some yes. people were saying Savaya. Like, no, Savaya. Savaya, okay. Because I remember, like, once we got out, we were, like, walking down. And then, like, I needed help trying to disguise it. And I was like, surely, like, I can't get away with this. Because, like, it's a pretty big bottle. And it's in the front of my, like, high-waisted bikinis. And then, obviously, like, you suggested, like, put your bag in front of it. So, I was like, okay. And then there's me walking in, being like, don't look suspicious. Hello, mm-hmm. how are you? Oh, this is okay. I'm just Australian, just smuggling alcohol in. Um, and then, yeah, when we got in, I was like, wow. Like, mind blown yeah that was like my first reaction i was like this can't be real like this is mm. way too nice for us smuggling vodka in in our crotches right now actually quite cheap like, yeah i felt so like <laughs> bogan i was this is kind of shit i pull in albany like not in <laughs> savaya like in bali like it was just undescribable that's that's <laughs> it was a crazy vibe crazy location Crazy views, crazy sunset. Everything about Savaya was just yeah, it was stunning. Mm. And it was only twelve dollars entry, and there was so much nice seating. Like there was seating, like for day beds that you could, you know, minimum spend. But overall, there was so much space that we were sitting on that we could just kind of, you know, yeah, lay out to ourselves. And the view was like overlooking the cliff of the ocean, and the ocean was blue. Yeah, so it was that was stunning. really nice. Yeah, yeah. Um, and so while we were there, honestly. I mentioned my favorite time that we had as a group there, but that day was honestly so much fun. Like your birthday, like, you know, even hashtag fuck fins. Like once we got to Savaya, like that whole day there was just like the best time ever. Yeah, it's like the so, highlight of my trip. Yeah. Mm. So we did say we were spilling some hot tea. And so one of the teas that I had a first put up on our Instagram was who out of the two, two of us was the one that was fiending and had urges to make out with other tourists? <laughs> and surprisingly, so firstly, people thought it was both us as like, both of us were the, yeah. but out of the two of us, more people thought you were the one that was like, had urges to make out with other tourists. So why don't you go on and tell that story? How did that happen? Cause this was at Savaya. Yeah, like it was super random because like, we were in the pool, I think all of us, and, you know, this, like, girl just decided to, like, come over to us, and she had, like, an accent, and I think I think she said she was from, like, California or something, I can't remember. And, like, it was just the fact that she, you know, approached, like, a bunch of strangers and was like, oh, hey, like, just spoke up. Like, I thought that was really, I don't know, it was hot. Like, cause you don't normally just approach strangers when you're, like, in a different country. So, and, yeah, it was cool. And it was a big group of girls and it was so it was so weird because you know we're on holiday just for your birthday and they weren't on holiday um they were doing their postgraduate studying in like urban planning and they were in jakarta and i was like wow okay so you guys are like smart smart Mm. um and then i remember they were kind of talking to the other people in our group and i looked over to you and you had your smile that montana smile and i was like oh what mischief does she want to get up to right now (laughs) And that's when you were like, I just want to make out with them so badly. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, like she wasn't like good looking, but like it was more her personality. The like I can't actually remember so. what she looked like now, to be honest. Yeah, she had like curly black hair, like pale skin and like a red bikini. So I remember her like to a T. See, I don't remember much because the vodka that we snuck in actually was a lot of vodka. And we poured that in a Red Bull cocktail jug like we should have only used half of it but we used all of it and And that fucked us up it was amazing that drink got us on a good vibe at Savaya and we didn't even want to leave to be honest no we didn't want to leave we had to because our other friend was arriving from the airport like the drink was so good i ordered like a toaster sandwich and like i i took that sandwich everywhere with me <laughs> like i did not want to leave it there i was like i'm like feeling so good right now i want to take this sandwich home and then uh, it was in your bag for like a day and then poor boy ate it so yeah yes you know what's like really funny is that like when we 
when we first got there, you got like a splinter in your foot. But not till mm. like two hours later was Alice being like, help my friend, help my friend. She's, she's gonna, gonna die. die. She's gonna, <laughs> she's gonna <laughs> die. <laughs> Please help her. She gonna die. Yeah. Uh. But it's just so funny that you you decided to get help like two three hours after we've already been there. Like it wasn't bothering me until and then I thought about it. I was like, oh shit, I should really get this out of my foot. And I was like, yeah, my foot hurts. Lucky you did because honestly, if we had to go if we had to go back to the villa and try and do that, we would have had to use like a butcher's knife. Or I mean, something. I would have normally I would have like cut up in my like my toe. I was like, it's better that you're doing it than me because if I go back in the state I am now, like with scissors, like I'd end up in hospital. So mm-hmm. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> oh mm. shit. Scissor cuts today. Jeez. Like three. Damn. Have you ever bled on a client? Like me? Yeah. Oh yeah, today, this one. This oh. one was deep. It was just like dripping. Oh. Yeah, it was crazy. Don't want to bleed on clients. I don't know, regardless of what client. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay so um so we did that and that was your birthday and that was like honestly like i said probably one of the best moments of that trip was going to Savaya. and then we all came home and everyone went to sleep yeah it was such a good day great day no we didn't go to sleep did we yeah we went to sleep no isn't that the night we went to la favela no it was the night it was the night before that we went to la favela i feel like it was so long ago like my brain was like trying to like yeah. process remember what? like when you asked me like oh what did you do on your birthday i was like i don't fucking know <laughs> like it's like literally feels so far away yeah so the next day after that we um we all ganged up and this is going to the second sort of tea who got flagged by the police mm. and uh, most people voted for you did they yeah i'm a great driver well i mean you most don't have to be, be flagged by the police for anything but it was actually owls that was flagged uh, by the police yeah i was a bit scared to be honest what was going through your mind oh i was wearing a gucci bag and he was looking <laughs> at that he was holding my brake and i'm like trying to go and i'm like trying to like uh, like i'm trying to communicate and then he calls his friend, he still has his um, hand on the brake. I push it and I just zoom with the moped. And I'm like, and you came towards yeah, me I did and come I'm like, nah, nah, go back, go back. And, and we were both legging it. it. <laughs> oh, it was a crazy moment. That wow. was like so high adrenaline, like running through the streets when yeah. you just dead eye look at me and be like, run and we're like running from the police. Imagine, imagine I actually didn't get away with it. Imagine what would happen. But like, uh-huh. I just want to know what you did. Because he, he just yeah. didn't have a helmet on, I reckon. Helmet. Is that well, like, I think he tried to um, grab stop us. You. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, and then after that, we went to the temples, which is such a fun drive up there with everyone behind us. Mm. And then seeing like the really big temple. And then honestly, going to that restaurant afterwards was like oh, such a good vibe. Santorini. Yeah, so recommend Santorini for anyone who's in Bali. They have places in Kangu, Kuta, and Bali itself. Mm. And I remember we were waiting outside the restaurant. I didn't have a reservation. This guy comes up to me. He's like, um, how many people? And this guy's clearly Caucasian. And I'm like, why are you asking me where I want to sit? And then I'm like, oh, it's like five of us. And then I kind of get the gist that he's like, oh, I'm the owner. And so it turns out this Greek family like owned these franchises in Bali and the food was so good and it was so, it was cheap for what we were getting. Yeah. It was so cheap and it was really tasty and I kind of wish we ate more. I think the serving sizes were like pretty decent because I was like pretty full. But You didn't finish your food. Yeah. Just like the heat doesn't really want to eat in the heat. Yeah. I don't feel like, I didn't feel like eating in the heat. But yeah, so we did that and then we went back um, home and that takes us to the second tea of this trip where someone drugged themselves for a good day and a half. Why do you think I'm looking at you? (laughs) So it's funny because everyone did vote for you as the one who passed out on Valium. So you just have this weird already reputation of being the one to like be drug fucked and passed out. Like, do I just look like that 24 seven? Is that why people are like, oh, she's dopey as fuck. (laughs) Like, yeah, so we got some I don't know what we got some sort of prescription version of a Valium I'd say mm. Lyrica yeah so we had some that was the night we went out to La Favela yes so I took one had a little bit of a swim Alinda took uh, one when we were at the restaurant and as soon as she walked into the villa she went straight to sleep 
um pool boy we were all just kind of chilling having having a bit of a you know chat and then i just went to go and lie down and i'm like this shit doesn't feel like anything i don't know what what's going on i'm feel i feel relaxed so just lying in bed and like i don't know maybe like an hour later owls comes to the door and apparently we're going out and i'm like all right fuck it we're going out then <laughs> and so we went out and the thing is i didn't have any alcohol but when i was in that environment that was like loud music and people dancing I, it was just such a vibe it was such a buzzy it was it was, it was so a good. nice location nice vibe the, even even the actual layout of that actual place la favela the name the what they have in the walls like pictures and shit it was so <laughs> retro, it was so you cool. talk like more like pictures and shit <laughs> <laughs> oh that was a good night that was a nice night yeah so that was really fun and i really vibed and i was really buzzing on this and i'm like how the hell is montana in bed right now like exactly. sleeping like i want to buzz dude i feel like i had ketamine <laughs> like so much ketamine i was in a k-hole like i literally just like so do you remember that night, like what you did after like because i think you were in bed before we left yeah well i was only meant to be like having like a lie down just like some time to myself and then next thing i was just out and then in my bed so like it was work and it's not even that you like pass yourself out for that evening because the next day we were um we were all going on a trip to gilly island for a night and you were ha- you were going to have like your little self-care day mm. uh in the villa so you could just go to sleep but we had to be up at five to get leave this place at six and i we got home so late from La Favela that I was like, you said to me, Al's, you're like, you're not going to, what's the point of sleeping? You're going to sleep in, which is really true because like, I shouldn't have slept. I slept in for an hour. Uh, and then the driver was calling me. He's like, I'm outside your house. <clears throat> so I had to like r- scream and run everywhere and try and get everyone organized. But we got on our trip and you didn't even hear us leave. You slept and slept the whole day and slept the whole night. Like, I'm pretty sure like I woke up at like 10 o'clock like 10 a.m. the next morning and I checked my phone and I had these like messages from people like my mum, my partner, like my friends, you and I was like, oh my lord. So yeah, I slept in for ages. We were super nice. Yeah. Needed the big sleep. So you you drugged yourself but it uh, it worked out in the end. <laughs> Sounds so like you drugged yourself. Yes, I did. I That's had good. A fat time. Yeah, fat times. That's great. Mm. And um, while you were having fat times, that led to our guest being on here today who had a very fat time. Oh. Yeah. Uh, hey, it wasn't fat. They were, they were nice. <laughs> <laughs> they were nice. <laughs> All right. So we do this thing called horse stories, right? So it can be as like juicy as you want it to be. It can be just like a bit of a taste, but I mean, we want the whole deal. So we want details. We want Detail, all the things. Details. So tell us from like start to finish um, about your horse story. So we were on Gilly Islands. We were in Gilly Islands and shit i'm like i'm on an island in the middle of nowhere never been here before and i'm like i don't want to just i don't want to just stay at home and not do anything and go to sleep it was it was kind of boring wait but we were we were already on a buzz like i was on a buzz i was on a good time and i wanted to go out so i'm like live you want to go out i'm going down the strip to get some corn because i saw corn earlier and mm. I wanted some corn. So jealous and that's where we, the corn. We remembered Mons and I'm like, I mean, Mons missing out on corn. <laughs> <laughs> so, go down that strip on Gilly Islands on a bicycle. No mopeds, no petrol. It's just an island in the middle of water. It was crazy. Yeah, and I seen all the, all the bitties, all, the, all the pretties. <laughs> it was a nice island, nice vibe to it. So I'm like, fuck this, I want to go out. I want to I stay up till the morning. I'm like, Liv, you want to go out? I'll go back to bed. And she's like, nah, I'm tired. I'll go back to bed. I'm like, okay, solo time. <laughs> I'm like, fuck you. Oh, and by the way, I was trying to tell us to wake up and go. And he's like, yeah, yeah, give me 15 minutes to sleep. And I'm like, okay. I had a smoke, came back. Are you coming up? He's like, nah. I'm like, okay, fuck you. And then, so, went out. As as I'm walking back to a place I wanted to chill at, I met these two girls that caught my eye. They were from Finland. And I'm like, they, look, they, look, they looked Aussie to me. 
So that's why I approach them. I'm like, oh, they might be Aussie. Let me see where they were, where they at. <laughs> and um, I approach them. I'm like, hey, where are you from? And she's like, we from Finland or something like that. You know, they had the accent. They had an accent and everything. And I'm like, oh, Finland, damn. Are you going out? And they're like, yes, yes. I'm like, okay, let's go. I'll buy you a drink. Fuck it. <laughs> I had like, what, a million, ru- is it rupees? The 100,000? 100,000. Yeah, maybe. The rupees, yeah. 100, no, it's a million. Like $100 is a million over there, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, I think I had a hundred in my pocket. I'm like, you know what? Just a hundred, fuck it. Let me go out. <laughs> I get to a place and the drinks f- for them were like five dollars each. I'm like, okay, okay, okay. Kept getting, kept drinking, kept vibing, good music, good places. And then one led, one thing led to another. Us dancing together, me grabbing both the asses, dancing in the middle of a club. Like, I'm like, holy shit, this is a vibe. <laughs> this is crazy. I'm like, shit. Damn, I'm on the island. I'm I'm about to fuck these bitches. I wanna fuck them tonight. I don't care if I fuck them on the beach. I wanna fuck these two. And they weren't sisters. They were friends. So they were sisters. Did you know they were friends? Yeah, they said they were friends, <laughs> but I'm not. I'm not gonna. I even forgot their names to be honest. They had like weird names. It was like Sarvaskar or something like that. I swear, like Sishisha, Silisha, or something like that. Weird names. <laughs> Anyways, um, walking down the strip. And I bought them mushrooms. <laughs> and oh, never- you're a gentleman. <laughs> it was only five dollars. <laughs> and then I'm like, have you ever tried them? They're like, nah. I'm like, let's all try one together. And it's and good to note at this point that we don't condone drugs on this podcast. However, on Gilly Island, mushrooms are legal. Exactly. Mm. Anyways, so yeah, them and they were having a good time, we were vibing, they were drinking and everything. And we go back to their place. We were, I was going to, back, going to go back to our place, but they went back to their place. And I just, you know, they were holding my hand in the middle of the street. They were laughing, talking to each other, something. And I don't know, I'm like, I'm like, look, if I die tonight and they're going to like rape me or kill me, I'm like, okay, and I, went, I die on the island and I die happy, okay? Um, so went back to this. I started having a shower like straight away, and okay, I'm just laying down on the bed. I'm having a good time, buzzed. I'm like, yeah, okay, okay. Am I gonna die or am I gonna have a good time? <laughs> <laughs> so they both go in the shower. Did you join them? I was chilling there for like about two, two minutes, three minutes, and they were like, two, both of them. Um, pop their heads out of the door. They're like, are you coming? Oh, their accent was so funny to me. I'm like, man, okay, let's have a shower all together. Obviously, I got a boner being naked with two girls in a shower like any other man would. <laughs> um, and it was gonna be a good night. <laughs> in my head. And fuck, I think it's only my like, second threesome. Like, go back on the bed, they both lay down. They started kissing. I'm like, oh shit, am I in between lesbians right now? Like, are they gonna put strap-ons and shit? <laughs> oh, I was, I was a bit scared at that point, but then I'm like, okay, I'll just, yeah, approach. <laughs> um, they pulled me in, they started kissing me both together. One of them gave me a hickey on my chest and I'm like, fuck, not a hickey, man. Oh no. <laughs> oh shit, anyways. I'm like, one thing goes to another and we're like, I'm like fucking these two hot ass Finland chinks, chinks, chicks. Chinks. <laughs> and I'm like on a vibe, I'm like, holy shit, like in, in between my head, I'm like, what is happening right now? Like, oh, I felt so good. Um, so yeah, we all like finishing shit and go have another shower together. It was so crazy. I just, I loved every second about it. It was just like, I was, I was in my own zone. I couldn't think about anything else but these two girls. That's so Um, good, living your best life. Oh man, it was, it was a nice moment. So how long did like the threesome like essentially go for? Like the whole thing? About 60 minutes, I reckon, 50, 50, because... It's pretty good. Nice and... What time did I come back? 
fuck Four. no it's like i so like i was sharing a bed with the other girl because like yeah we just had different we had to share beds on this island and so but like while i was waiting i was like i may as well just sleep on my own like the other bed and i was like sleeping and i kept waking up i was like I woke up at, like three o'clock i'm like wait he's not in the other bed yet i got like four o'clock and he's still in the other bed it was like 4 30 4 45 in the morning like if even five o'clock you didn't get back yeah so it was it was it was a good like two showers and then whole fucking i had a good time i don't remember the names i feel I feel bad that I don't remember the names, but like they're in a whole nother country across the world, and I'm in P City, so it's crazy that. <laughs> <laughs> now that's so good. I'm glad glad you had fun, your experiences, uh, all the things. Wildly bitches and bad boys. Love when horror stories come from our guests. Like we had Candace and her public sex story. That was wild. That was pretty on edge, yeah. That yeah. was a good one. I don't know, where are we ranking owls? Should we start ranking our guest horse stories and like they get a prize at the end? Like the, you know, the horrier story of the year? I feel like it needs to be a good prize if we're yeah. going to be doing that. I could give a good prize. A crown towels voucher. Oh, oh that's a bit too much. Like, I don't, I'm not vouching. I'm not share I'm the not story. That. <laughs> and then share the story at that. <laughs> um, no, I love that. I, I mean, I think one of the things I like about that story the most is that like I was getting a good night's sleep for once on this island because like we were allowed things there that helped me sleep and while we were there and I like was sleeping I just remember you walking in in the morning and being like and I, and I think I like was just like oh owls and you and you came over to the side of the bed. And you're like, I had the best night of my life. I just had a threesome, and I'm like, oh, okay, cool. I'm going back to sleep. I'm giggling, laughing, off my head. <laughs> I'm like, holy shit, what just happened? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> and look at me. I'm like, fuck you. <laughs> The best night of my life. And you know what? If he had come out, maybe you wouldn't have had that happen. Uh, no, I don't think so. You I wouldn't think have. So. He'd, he'd either be a cock block. He'd be or a just cock block. Tell, tell yeah, him he to fucking come home. He'd be oh, a cock block. Yeah. Yeah, he'll, he'd be like, no, 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 bro, don't do that, don't do that. You know? <laughs> yeah, those words too. And to be honest, though, one of the reasons why I left you alone was not because, like, if, like, Alinta or, like, like but boy had all like been out i would have come out too like i would have had a great time but like when we were like in the island and we we're waiting for corn everyone thought we were together so i was just like i'm gonna kill this guy's game just by like standing next to him so i was like it's all right he can have a solo night by himself and look see aren't you glad that i left you and that poor boy was oh yeah, yeah i wish i wish i was out with everyone but like you know solo night was nice that was a that was a, <laughs> that was a nice night yeah overall I think that we had a really, really good time in Bali. Um, what was your favorite time besides your birthday? Like, what was a your favorite group activity thing that we did? Or, like, like, time we went out? I feel like when we went to that place and we had, like, the happy hour cocktails and we got, like, three each. Oh, yeah. I thought yeah. that was, like, really good and we were, like, going to get food there. But we didn't end up getting food. But then... We went to that other place and I had like nazi goring. And you literally, I, have so a photo, I have a video of you dancing with oh, that. Man, I was so happy. Oh, like, that just, was so good. Like that was like the probably like the highlight of my trip, getting nazi goring, like drunk. Yeah, I was pretty pissed. <laughs> <laughs> what was your favorite time besides Montana's birthday? Oh no, nah, it was Montana's, but they survive. <laughs> survive was my best time, man. I had the best time in Savaya. I wish I wish to go back to Savaya every fucking night. <laughs> I swear, if I, if I live in Bali one point in my life, I'll be sure I live in, next to Savaya. Twelve dollars <laughs> entry. Anyone that goes to Bali, like you have to hit up Savaya. You won't regret it. No, not at all. It was a good time. Good yeah. Time. And um, what was like? We can laugh about it now, but what was not fun was like us all trying to get on the plane oh, <laughs> that, like that's why i said we can laugh about it now that was the shittest <laughs> shittest fucking moment Dude, of the trip. my blood pressure like i need tablets now from that <laughs> shit like oh my god just like the, you know what the thing is i think we got confused i thought they were at the door yeah there was no communication i was running to the door I and know. i i broke my fucking <laughs> fake louis bag that i bought <laughs> Oh, I'm so mad about that. And I'm like, we ran for nothing. And they're waiting for us at that restaurant they were sitting at. And I'm like, fuck, running, 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 running. Where are they? 
they're not on the plane. What do you mean? I'm texting. He's like, where are you? Oh. <laughs> Me thinking he's already on the plane. <laughs> Same. Because you said it. I heard it. And you know the worst thing is, is that like I asked this lady, are these people on the plane? And they said that, but well, they said you were on the plane. And I was trying to like put my head in to the plane and they grabbed me off. And they were like, she's sitting in her seat. I'm like, that makes no sense. Like if she's sitting in her seat, she's got my passport. Like, let me go get it. But you weren't even on the plane. So even these stupid, like, you know what? That gives me, gives me no like faith we in like the aircraft to miss people. Out like yeah. I thought I was on the wrong flight because of me thinking I was just, they're at their seats and I'm like okay I'll just go get her passport for her it's like that's easy he wasn't on the seat I'm like holy shit where, where I, is I this thought, plane going you know there was a there was a brief moment when they said that you were on the plane but you weren't on the plane I thought you you were getting kidnapped that was it pretty white girl done she's off she's well, like, someone's taken like her. i'm pretty sure they like called my name on like the pa system because i heard well like he was like down the end he was like run run like fucking hurry up and i was like what the fuck's going on mm-hmm. i was like, i'm so confused i'm tired <laughs> and then like i had a bit of a mum moment what, and i was like honest, it was well because we had that nice smoke before that fucking plane man oh i couldn't sleep on that plane either it was so annoying <laughs> You definitely slept on that plane. Yeah, you did. yeah but it was. We have a video like of you like with your mouth open. <laughs> it was out. a really shit sleep. Oh, I was uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah, I think we all had a good nap, and then I got home, and I did not leave the house for like two days. I just slept. Yeah, I slept a lot when I. No, got home. I went straight back to work the next fucking morning. <laughs> mm, good on you. Well, we had a great time on Bali. Definitely recommend Santorini, and definitely fuck Finns, and definitely hit up Savaya if you guys Savaya. ever go to Bali. Yeah, fuck fans. Yeah. So why have nice DJs and nice events upcoming soon? So whoever is in Bali, hit them up. It was great having everyone back on today. And yeah, thanks guys. Bye. See you later. That's all we have time for today. I hope you enjoyed tuning into Project Slut. Stay safe, stay whorish, and we'll see you soon.